fun. And verse 1 will convince you and help you to know that the saint, God's people, the church, we're going to be here. We're going to go through the persecution before Jesus Christ comes. Just like Paul says, Yea, whosoever shall live in godly shall suffer persecution. But notice, according to Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, God's people shall be delivered. Notice, we're going to be delivered. Jesus Christ will protect us. So stand for God, the one who wake you up every day. God is the one who created you, friends. And like I says, at this time, whenever they start persecuting, just like they did in dark ages, Bible help us to understand that Jesus Christ will come, friends. If the day is not short, and I repeat this again, no flesh will be saved for the elect's sake, friends. The day will be shortened. Jesus Christ will cut the day short. Otherwise, no flesh will be saved, friends. But God will protect us, like I said. Stand for God. This is the encouragement for you, friends. This is how deep God loves you. Because the great controversy between good and evil, the devil is the one who is killing God's people. The father of all lies, the murder. Notice. So God will let us go through. So in the end, everybody will bow down and you know and, 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 and prove that God is the one who's the holy. He's the one who didn't do all this mess. It's the devil who do that killing and behind the scene using the human, you know, telling mankind to push. I mean, using their conscience and letting them know that you know God is the one who's in control, friends. I want you to know that. Every good thing come from above. So now let's read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 and see if we can read it up to verse 12 for the sake of time. Notice verse 1 says, Now brethren concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or trouble either by the spirit or by the word or by the letter. As if from us as though the day of Christ has come. Notice what it says in verse 3. Let no one deceive you by any means. For that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. And the man of sin is revealed. The son of prediction who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. All that is worship, so that he sit as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you this things, and now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. And notice what Paul says in verse 7 For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restraining will do so until he is taken away of he is taken out of the way. Notice and verse 8 says, And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth, and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Notice what it says in verse 9. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. This is what it says in verse 10. So that you will know. If you don't receive this love of the true, notice what it says. You're going to be doomed. So, and with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love. And verse 11 says, and for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Verse 12, notice, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but has pressure in unrighteousness. Oh, friends, this is the Antichrist power that the Bible says. But unfortunately, like I says, a lot of people don't know who the Antichrist anymore. Paul says in verse, notice, Paul says in verse 7, notice, I'm going to repeat that part so that you would understand this key word. Notice, verse 7 says, I already read it, but notice, for the mystery of lawless, 
is already at work. Only he who not restraining will do so until he is taken out of the way. Remember the mystery of lawless one. Notice he's already at work. Miss this power is still working. That's what they control the whole world. And not only that. They also control the church and state. Means they control the president in every country. Friends, and they also control the church. They drawn all of them to so-called the mother of the church. Friends. But the mystery of lawlessness is already at work that Paul says. Paul help us to understand that the Rome, notice, Rome is the same power that is still working now because Rome turned to papal Rome. When the Constantine united the church and state together, that's what we, they call it. Roman means the state. Catholic Church means the church. Notice, Roman Catholic Church, the church and state. But the same Rome that it turned to, Papal Rome is still in control. It's working behind the scene and fooling the whole world. But this power is going to be revealed in the last days. Whenever they enforce their pagan sound worship, they, they will start persecuting God's people. Those we are going to say no to the devil because according to Revelation chapter 13, the devil is the one who gives his throne power and great authority to this power that the Revelation also has a different name for this power. They call this power the beast. And just in case you don't know, in Daniel chapter 7 verse... 17 the beast represent the kings notice that's why god used that symbolic the beast to teach us a lesson so this power is called the beast and if the bible says the reason i repeat this again and again friends so that once this video is over once you finish watching or listening notice you will know who the Antichrist and you will understand the mark of the beast that already says it from the beginning again and again and again. Notice, it's the pagan sun worship day. Bible help us to understand that whenever that law, pagan sun worship day, notice means Sunday worship. Whenever the state enforce the law, Sunday worship, whenever it's an enforce, just like I said from the beginning and again and again, whenever it's in force at that time, if you compromise and think, well, you know, I've been worship on Sunday for a long time, so even though it's a human tradition, man-made religion, man changed that law, I'm still going to obey, you know, I'm still going to, it don't matter because I can't buy or sell, so I'm going to accept it anyway because that's what I've been worshiping for a long time. Friends, I want you to know that don't fool yourself. Whenever you accept it, whenever the law is in force, whenever you heard about it, that they, they're telling the people to worship, at that time, if you compromise, just like Bible called this power the beast in Revelation 13 and also 14, they are mark of authority. They themselves, they claim it. And Revelation 13, if you read verses 1 to the end, you will find out that it's all about worship issue. The mark of the beast that I told you before, the, dev the devil behind the scene wants the whole world to worship him. So if you accept this power that Bible called this system, the Antichrist, in Revelation, like I said before, the beast, if you accept their mark, notice that's what Bible said, the mark of the beast is their own mark. If you accept their mark of authority, they, they themselves they claim that is the Sunday worship. Whenever it's in force at that time, you will have the mark of the beast. Friends, Jesus Christ is coming and he wants you to obey him. And notice what I'm going to do now. I'm going to read Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. And also I will read few verses notice i mean few chapters actually it's a verses so that you would understand the sabbath that is always saturday the bible says the seventh day is the sabbath and according to encyclopedia and a calendar and even jewish nation even though i'm not jewish i'm a christian Jewish people, they still keep the old Sabbath from the Old Testament. They still keep it. 
on Saturday, friends. The Sabbath is always Saturday.